These objects travel between Mach 5 and Mach 20. That's 20 times the speed of sound. The story you heard is wrong. Michio Kaku didn't issue a terrifying warning about the interstellar object 3i Atlas. The truth is far more disturbing. When the bizarre data from this high-speed anomaly was secretly fed to a Google AI for analysis, the machine remained silent for 72 hours. Then it produced a single page of output. That output didn't just solve the mystery of the object's origin, it created a much bigger one. A mystery that suggests this visitor might not be a visitor at all, but something else entirely. Something ancient, deliberate, and incomprehensibly strange. An error in the stars. You see, our solar system is a pretty orderly place. For billions of years, things have followed a certain set of rules governed by gravity and physics. Comets swing by, planets spin in their orbits, and everything is more or less predictable. But on July 1st, 2025, something appeared that broke all the rules. The Atlas telescope, perched high in the mountains of Chile, spotted a faint speck of light moving in a way it shouldn't. It was moving fast, impossibly fast. Clocked at over 137,000 miles per hour, this object, officially named 3I Atlas, was not bound by our sun's gravity. It was a tourist, a one-way traveler just passing through. This was only the third time in history humanity had ever confirmed an interstellar visitor. But not all things are what they seem. The first two, Yumuamua and Borisov, were weird enough, but 3I Atlas was in a league of its own. It was a true scientific anomaly. The James Webb Space Telescope, our most powerful eye in the sky, turned its gaze toward the object and what it found sent a ripple of confusion through the scientific community. Comets, you see, are mostly water ice. When they get close to the sun, that ice turns to gas, creating a beautiful tail. But 3E Atlas was different. The telescope found that for every one part water vapor, there were eight parts carbon dioxide. This ratio is completely alien to any comet ever seen in our own solar system. It's like finding a fish that breathes fire. It suggests this thing was born in a radically different and perhaps much older cosmic neighborhood. But the weirdness was just getting started. The thing nobody tells you is what happened next. Another observatory, the Very Large Telescope, analyzed the light coming from the object's gassy halo and found something that defied chemistry. It detected the clear signature of atomic nickel. Nickel is a heavy element, sure, but the bombshell was what was missing, iron. In our solar system, nickel and iron are cosmic brothers. They are almost always found together, forged in the heart of the same stellar explosions. Finding nickel without any trace of iron is like finding a footprint with no person attached to it. It's a clue that points to something bizarre. Some scientists theorized that maybe cosmic rays had stripped away the iron over billions of years of travel, but even that was a long shot. The puzzle was getting deeper and the pieces just weren't fitting. And then came the final nail in the coffin discovery that made everyone crazy. The object was outgassing backward. In every comet we've ever studied, lighter, more volatile gases like cyanide appear first as it heats up, followed by heavier elements. With 3I Atlas, the nickel vapor appeared before the cyanide. It was a complete reversal of the known process, hinting that the very building blocks of this object were fundamentally different from anything we've ever encountered. This wasn't just another rock from another star, this was a ghost an impossibility that had just drifted into our backyard. What do you do with data that makes no sense? You give it to a mind that can think outside the box. When a machine begins to think. Many people are crazy about the power of artificial intelligence. We have AIs that can create art, write poetry, and even diagnose diseases better than some doctors. Behind the scenes, tech giants like Google have been building systems far more powerful than anything the public sees. These are digital leviathans, learning machines with the processing power of millions of human brains designed to find patterns in chaos. 
These systems can look at a billion data points and see the one connection that everyone else missed. So in a quiet, unofficial capacity, a group of bewildered astronomers decided to try something radical. They compiled every single scrap of information on 3i Atlas, the trajectory, the velocity, the impossible chemical readings, the reversed outgassing, and fed it all into one of these monster AIs. The goal wasn't to ask it a simple question, it was to let the AI swim in the data, to let it cross-reference the object's characteristics with every known law of physics every astronomical model, and every chemical database in existence. We're talking about petabytes of information. That's thousands of high-definition movies worth of pure, raw data. For a human team, it would take decades to sift through. For the AI, it was a light lunch. The idea was simple. Humans are biased. We see what we expect to see. A comet is a comet. A rock is a rock. But a machine has no expectations. It only sees the numbers. It only sees the patterns. And the patterns in the 3i Atlas data were screaming that this was something new. For three long days, the system was silent. It just churned through the data, its processors running at near maximum capacity, drawing more electricity than a small town. The researchers waited. Was it a dead end? Would the machine simply spit out error, data inconclusive? The problem with an intelligence this vast is that you can't fully predict what it will do. You're not just running a program, you're consulting an oracle. And oracles are famously cryptic. Then on the fourth day, a notification appeared. The analysis was complete. There was no lengthy report, no complex dissertation filled with jargon. There was only a single chilling summary of its findings. The AI had found an answer. It had connected the dots. But the picture it painted was not of a comet. It wasn't a natural phenomenon at all. The machine had uncovered a truth hidden in the numbers, a truth that was far more terrifying and awe-inspiring than anyone could have ever prepared for. The answer was finally here. But the machine's conclusion wasn't about what the object was, but what it was doing. Not a rock, but a messenger. The AI's conclusion was chilling in its simplicity. It stated with a 99.7% probability that the trajectory of 3i Atlas was not random. This is where things get really crazy. A Harvard astronomer named Avi Loeb, a real scientist, had already done the math and calculated that the chances of a random interstellar object passing so precisely by Mars, Venus, and Jupiter were astronomically low a 0.005% probability. It was like a cosmic hole in one. The object was using the gravitational pull of our planets to adjust its course and speed, a technique NASA calls a gravity assist. It's a maneuver we use to slingshot our own probes like Voyager and Pioneer across the solar system. The AI confirmed this suspicion, but it went a step further. It argued that the object's path was so perfectly optimized, it could only be deliberate. But that's not the most shocking part. The thing nobody tells you is how this incredible story got twisted. As whispers of these findings began to leak, the internet did what it does best. It created a myth. Content farms and clickbait channels, some using their own simple AIs to generate scripts, started churning out videos. They took old clips of the famous physicist Michio Kaku talking about alien life, spliced them with new images of the comet, and created a completely fabricated story. Headlines screamed that Michio Kaku issues a terrifying warning, but he never said a word about 3i Atlas. It was a lie, a ghost story created by one AI to hype up the findings of another. The irony is, the lie distracted everyone from the much scarier and potentially true story unfolding in the data. The AI's verdict wasn't just about the path, it was about the chemistry. The weird nickel without iron signature, the reversed outgassing, the AI cross-referenced these signatures with a database of theoretical propulsion systems and exotic materials. Its conclusion was that the chemical anomalies were not natural. 
They were consistent with the decay products of a long-dead, high-energy engine. The object wasn't just following an engineered path. The object was the engine. It was an ancient piece of technology, dead for millions or even billions of years, silently tumbling through the galaxy on a pre-programmed course. Its journey through our solar system wasn't an accident. According to the AI, the gravity assist maneuver was the object's primary mission, a way to use our sun and planets to make one final course correction on its journey to a destination unknown. So if this ancient probe isn't here for us, then where is it going? The questions we're left with. We are left with a mystery that seems to grow bigger the closer we look. The thing is, does this all happen overnight? Does a single AI analysis prove that we just got visited by a piece of alien tech? Of course not. Science is a slow, careful process. This AI's conclusion is just one more piece of a very strange puzzle. It's a speculative idea, a theory born from a machine's logic, but it's a theory that fits the bizarre facts better than almost anything else. We are left looking at the sky and wondering, are we missing a key detail? Is there some natural phenomenon we don't yet understand that could explain all of this? Or is the simplest answer the most terrifying one? That we are not alone and we just got a flyby from a civilization so old it may not even exist anymore. Think about the sheer scale of it all. The AI's analysis, combined with astronomical data, suggests 3i Atlas could be up to 10 billion years old. That means it began its journey long before our own planet had even formed. It has been wandering the galaxy for at least 7 billion years, a silent traveler from a time before humanity. If it is a probe, its creators are likely long gone. We are looking at a message in a bottle from a ghost civilization. It raises so many questions. Was it one of a fleet of such objects? Was its purpose just to observe, or was it a seed, a map, or something else entirely? The object is now heading out of our solar system, and we will likely never see it again. We got one brief look at something that could rewrite everything we know about the universe. Think about the sheer scale of it all. The AI's analysis, combined with astronomical data, suggests 3i Atlas could be up to 10 billion years old. That means it began its journey long before our own planet had even formed. And what about us? For the average person, this story sounds like science fiction, but the lines are getting blurry. The data from the telescopes is real. The weird chemistry is real. The improbable trajectory is real. The only fictional part is the official confirmation, but it gets even weirder when you look at the theories bubbling up from the fringes. One idea suggests this wasn't a lone traveler, but one of millions of probes in a vast galactic network. Its purpose wasn't to study us. We were just a convenient gravitational pit stop. It was a cosmic cartographer pinging our solar system's location to update a map of the Milky Way that's billions of years old. In this version of the story, we are not the main characters. We're not even a footnote. We're just a landmark on an ancient highway. Then there's the darker speculation. What if the probe isn't dead? What if it's dormant? Some whisper of the Berserker theory an ancient autonomous weapon designed to wander the stars and eliminate any intelligent life it finds before it can become a threat. Are we on the verge of a new era of discovery or did we just miss our only chance to know? What do you think 3i Atlas was? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more cosmic mysteries. Is it possible the AI's most terrifying conclusion is one it decided not to share with us?